All right, KG, I've got a right. new ball. Got the first over. What is your first cricket memory? My grandmother used to watch cricket and I didn't know what the sport was. I think I may have been like seven or eight. That's literally my first, first memory of, of watching a cricket game. I didn't know what was going on, but <laughs> that's what that's... Do you know now? Um, <laughs> I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure this game out. <laughs> What are your memories of watching Australia v South Africa tests as a kid? I remember Sean Pollock um, just swinging, like bowling beautifully out swinging. <laughs> I don't remember what year, it must have been like late 90s. Yeah. I remember Jax Callis um, playing and he was my, fav my brother's favourite cricketer because mm. he had a batting mm. average of like 60 and a bowling average of like 25, whatever he did. And I remember watching just thinking, Jeez, he's pretty boring, he <laughs> bats all day. Yeah. Um, so that was like growing up patches and then Graham Smith batting with a broken finger at SCG, Mitchell Johnson getting the last wicket. They're probably my clearest memories. It's a funny thing about Jock. Uh, he, he, may, he may have seemed so boring, but when you actually start playing international cricket, you're like, how the hell did this guy do that? It's Incredible. ridiculous, yeah. He's like an umpire, he's always on the field doing something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> In which match did you truly believe you belonged in Test Cricket? I'd have to say when I got my first Fifa um, at the Wanderers against England. Um, yeah, that whole series I just had, I just felt really good. I think it was 2015. I think that was pretty special for me, the Wanderers. I really enjoy bowling there. Didn't you make your debut there as well? Yeah, yeah exactly. 2011. And I, I remember feeling in that game pretty quickly like oh, okay like there's it's obviously hard and but I remember thinking like all right I reckon I could do it here but then I remember feeling like my body was nowhere near test cricket until I came back 2017 and I reckon it wasn't until probably that South Africa series again to 2018 where we played like five ashes tests four tests in South Africa and I was like oh, okay maybe my body's up to this as well like it's tough but yeah when was the first time you saw 150 kilometers per hour flash up on the scoreboard or speed gun? I remember my first season of T20s, I was 17, and I think in the final I bowled a ball and it came out 152 or something, or 151. It was a terrible ball, it was a half volley down late. <laughs> but I remember thinking, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, when I was like younger. I can't s specify like the exact moment but it was a lot easier back then. I was going to say, when's the most recent time? <laughs> yeah, no, recently, I don't think they've come. 2015. <laughs> yeah, but when I was younger, it was, it was much, much yeah. more frequent, but not at this stage. It's too hard. Hopefully, yeah. we can get it up again. Who yeah. knows? Then you bowl fast some days, you don't take wickets, and you bowl within yourself and you take wickets. You're like, it's so much harder bowling fast. Why do I bother? <laughs> All right, the ball to bowl Usman Khawaja in Perth that sent the stump cartwheeling. Talk me through it. It was one of those balls that you just get in the perfect area. Yeah. And there's just the right amount of swing and it was the perfect length. It came out the hand perfectly. I was going to say, did you feel it right out of the hand? Right out of the hand. Was it one of those hand. ones? Yeah. It was one of those, yeah. When, when, normally when you're, when you're playing really well, you don't even know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but when you're playing, when you're not having a good time, and there seem to be many things you're doing wrong. <laughs> you're trying to think of all the things. Yeah, but it was just one of those balls. I can't really explain it. Yeah. Everything was perfect. Yeah. Nice ball. <laughs> what did you think of me before you met me? <laughs> um, when did we play IPL together? Was that 2017? Yeah, yeah, 2017. What do I think? Maybe like a bit aloof? <laughs> Maybe. I know that you try and act like that. <laughs> I try and act like that. I thought maybe humble, but then I met you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 when I saw you, I just saw this guy walking around, like strutting <laughs> so around. Here we go. And he had his Chelsea boots on, because <laughs> we had a function to attend, and he's strutting around. <laughs> he's walking around the Sam Billings. And he's like, yes, look at this guy. Maybe that's why I was so aloof. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's not true. I remember you debuted at MCG in the T20. So I made my debut in Adelaide. Adelaide, okay, yeah. You played that game as well. Yeah, yeah. we bowled fast at MCG. Yeah, uh, Finchie was uh, having a go at me. 
Yeah, that seemed to get me fired up. <laughs> I can't repeat what he said to me on camera. <laughs> I can't repeat what I said to him yeah. on camera. <laughs> Yeah, so that was that was pretty that was pretty good. I remember. Actually, yeah. the first time we worked out afterwards was 2011. You you were bowling the nets when we were playing a test match. Yes, so we actually go back a long way. I, I actually bowled at him in the nets. I bowled at Nathan Lyon. I was still a. Actually, that's probably what I thought of you first up. You just kept trying to bowl bounces at me <laughs> in the nets. Well, actually, I'll give you some inside info. I don't know if you'll agree or not, but Brad hadn't actually told me to bounce you. <laughs> I swear, he did. I actually I, believe that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was, and I just remember, yeah, I was just in awe of bowling at the Australian cricket team. I was still in high school. So, so we've seen each other quite a lot. Yeah. You've gotten pretty fired up when you have played against us in recent years. Will we see that again this series or have you settled down? Um, yeah, there's too many rules these days. <laughs> No, man. But, you know, what happens on the field happens on the field. Off the field, it's a different story. And, you know, sometimes you, you do get fired up. It, it has nothing to do with uh, how you are as a person off the field. But when you get competitive, it's just like a, a di whole different energy. But, like, emotion can just come out of nowhere and s literally just spur you on. But having grown, grown older, you just have more of a maturity and you just carry yourself in a, in a different manner and you just challenge, channel the energy in a different manner. Yeah. Whereas when I first started, I was just extremely raw. So I'd say that I have settled down yeah. quite evidently, but um, the passion is most definitely still there. Yeah. yeah, I'd say the same. Like, I don't know, it, you play so often now that you try and allocate your energy for bowling and like what it needs to and yeah you can get wound up really high but it's pretty draining if you're doing that every day yeah it is and also like the amount of the volume of cricket that you play these days like i won't even lie sometimes it sometimes you as much as we love the game and we always get i always get back into like wanting to play and wanting to have the drive Sometimes it's hard to get the drive with the amount of cricket that we play. I mean, we, at the end of the day, we're human beings. Imagine being up for every single game that you play yeah. with the amount of fixtures that we have. Yeah. So that also plays a factor as well. Yeah. yeah most Sometimes definitely. you do the emotion to like get yourself up as much as like getting into the opposition. Yeah. E exactly. Yeah. Um, what was the batting innings by a South African where you wondered how you were ever going to get this guy out? <laughs> Uh, I'd say AB De Villiers in that 2018 series in South Africa. He was like, he was a brick wall. And then like he'd flick a switch and hit you for six. And he was like, it was almost like he surprised himself. He's like, oh, where'd that come from? Got to go back to <laughs> defending. Um, he was, yeah, that, that series, he just looked like he was just, had that look in his eye where he's like, I'm not going to get out. Yeah, I remember he scored that 100 in PE. PE, yeah. Yeah, that was... <clears throat> one of the best innings I've seen him play. Australia always seemed to get the best out of him, but he's yeah. done it to a lot of attacks. Yeah. But yeah, just got the best out of him. And then it's like, if someone survives, you're like, oh, well, hopefully, you know, you get the guys out down the other end. But then if he's batting with the tail, he goes into T20 mode. <laughs> it's yeah. like, well, that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it a lot different. Yeah. Ball is older. Yeah. It's not skipping through as much. Is there anything better than bowling with reverse swing? Yeah, the reverse swing is, has been around the game for a long time yeah. and it's provided a lot of success to like the world's greatest bowlers ever. I think it's a lethal weapon. Yeah. And um, it's very fun to bowl with the reverse <laughs> swing. What do you think, Pat? I always think reverse swing is overrated. Yeah, because it's like, most of the time when it reverses, the ball's soft. I mean, it's awesome if like the ball's hard and it's got a good wicket, but normally it's in like India or somewhere where the wicket's slow. It's better than nothing, but half the time it's like everything's all already up against you by the time it gets going. But what about the one days back in the day where they had one ball? It was like yeah, now there's two balls. Everything favors the batters. Now. I know, exactly. It's a batter's game. Four fielders out. Bats are bigger, 50 meter boundaries. <laughs> 
Awesome. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> How tough was the 2018 test series for you? And what are the biggest lessons you learned from it? Um, yeah, it was tough, really tough. Yeah, I think more than any else, like physically. So we come from playing a, a five test match series here in the Ashes, which was draining. Like, that was my first home summer, put everything into that series. Then basically we got straight on a flight to play, obviously four test matches in South Africa. So there was no easy test either. Like I bowled probably 45 overs in every test for nine tests in a row. Just so I, I remember like it was a real moment after that series of, you know, with everything that's going, that went on as well, like that took a huge toll. But also just thinking like, okay, if I want to do this for a living, I want to do this for a while, I've got to get my head around how exhausting it is. And I've got to like find things outside of cricket that give me energy for when I'm on the field. And I can't ride every day like it's the most important thing ever because I just burn out. So yeah, this little, like even, you know, AB, how well he batted, I remember thinking, wow, okay. Yeah, he's batting at this level, that's kind of as good as you're going to come up against, but also you've got to lift your game to try and get to that level as well. So I think there was yeah, heaps of those kind of learnings about myself as a cricketer and then as a person, like with everything that went on, I think it was just a real kind of point of reflection where you know, I was really young, starting out my test career, it was like, okay, you know, who do you want to be? Yeah. You know, grow up a bit, I think. Yeah. How about you? Pretty similar to what you're saying, really, because getting out of bed and always wanting to 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 improve and and, and to compete um, it gets a lot it takes a lot out of you and especially when you're playing against some quality opposition as you've mentioned and it, they always seem to get the best out of you yeah. exactly as you've mentioned yeah that's it yeah would you like to captain south africa one day oi i clearly wouldn't shy away from it at this stage, I just feel as if, like, uh, I'm not completely, I haven't really wrapped my head around it thoroughly. Again, I, I think uh, it would take another level of maturity. But then again, if, if it were a challenge for me, then I think I like to respond to challenges and it needs to be s strong. So that is quite a strong challenge. It's not something that I'm chasing, yeah. really. But if it if it did get thrown at me, then I would I would really I would really consider it. Yeah. Is there anything you'd bring in for you know, look after the bowlers a bit more? <laughs> You're a captain. Yeah, definitely. There has to be a fast bowlers union. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no more night watchmen. <laughs> That's the first rule. <laughs> I was um, I was messaging Timmy Southey. I was like, oh, what on the captaincy? He goes, first rule I told the batters, no night watchers. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we all think the yeah. same. What's been your biggest challenge as Test captain? Uh, I'd say the biggest challenge has been like just looking after your own game as well as captaining. I thought I kind of had everything kind of reasonably balanced, but when I look back at it, I feel this season I spend a more, lot more time at training and even in the games thinking about my own bowling, which is similar to how I've always thought about it. Whereas I think even just over the last year, as I was trying to learn to be captain and even field placements and when to bowl certain people, I, I felt like I spent more time on that that sometimes took away a little bit from my bowling. So I reckon just balancing it, it's taken a little bit of time, but um, yeah, it's been plenty of people around me that have helped. That was exactly one of my, <clears throat> one of the main things I thought about, about being captain, that it'll take, it'll take a lot and it'll actually take away from your game. Yeah. What do you admire about the Aussie pace attack? You can take as long as you want with it. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to answer this? <laughs> Um, look, I've always admired fast bowling. Uh, just literally watching tapes of bowlers, the Roberts, the Hadleys, the Lillies, Thompsons, Marshalls, Holdings, and then you have the Stain, Anderson. So growing up, I felt as if it was just fascinating for me to watch because like fast bowling is, is like an art and it's it's awesome just to, to be a part of, of it. And most definitely, if I look at the Aussie pace attack, there is a lot of admiration that I, would, that I, that I have towards individuals. We, as much as we do compete, the, like the cricket instinct in you has, 
has space for you to admire uh, yeah. certain players. Yeah, the pace and the bounce and just the relentlessness and the whole, the whole character around it. Um, I also think what, what does make a good fast bowler is, is character, but you have different characters. Yeah. And I think that's what, that's what makes a really good fast bowler, I think, is character. If you could steal one delivery or trade from me, what would it be? You don't need anything. You're number one in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Your batting technique's good. <laughs> I know, you, you probably bowl more Yorkers than I do. you got a good Yorker. I'd say you've got a pretty decent bouncer. I'm happy to face your Yorker if I'll bowl bounces at you and you can bowl. <laughs> Just right. bowl him, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the one Australian player you'd like to have a beer with after this series? <clears throat> Pat Cummins. There we go. Um, actually, yeah, I wouldn't mind having a beer with, um, with Hazelwood, actually. It's always the fast bowlers that find each other out, isn't it? Like after yeah, a series, yeah, yeah. it's always like everyone always thinks that the batters are the snuffs, which they are. But it's always like, oh, what are you doing with your wrist? Or what's, what are you trying to like? There's a lot of. I wouldn't. I don't know what I would get out of David Warner. <laughs> I don't know if you would have a beer with him, then I will. Oh, definitely, yeah. Would you? He's have great you? fun. Yeah. <laughs> you would like, yeah. I mean, all right. I, let's make that happen. I've I've played I've played with Steve at the IPL already. Yeah. I've had a few cokes with him. Yeah. I would say, I would say Hazelwood. Yeah, okay. I would say Hazelwood. Good choice. Yeah. Who's the one South African player you'd like to have a beer with after this series? KG. <laughs> um, any of the bowlers really in talk Any of the bowlers? About Fair enough. So there we go. Maybe Einrich, how to bowl fast consistently. Yeah, he's sending them through at Good a fun. rapid, rapid speed. <laughs> yeah. Don't you guys have some new guy on the block who bowls? Oh, Lance. Yeah. Yeah, he bowls fast. Like yeah. real fast? Real like fast. Like 150 fast? Yeah, like I wouldn't be seen near the net if he's bowling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a chance he might play. Yeah. So I need a chess guard. <laughs> <laughs> Your arm guard on the right. <laughs> Had to yeah, do you want to tell him? Go on. Uh, nah. <laughs> you know already. So what's the point? Was it a county game? It was. KG went out to bat and he put his arm guard on the wrong arm. Okay, I had a bruise over here <laughs> and I was just trying to protect it. And I think we've just come back from the Caribbean, so I was just so chilled. <laughs> and I was sitting in the dugout like this before going out to bat. And... Like I went into bat, I was facing Chris Jordan and um, I even adjusted it. <laughs> My mind was just far, far away from the cricket. And I remember getting out and I get upstairs and Tom Latham's like, like what's with your arm guard? <laughs> and I was like, geez, like, I'm allowed to protect myself. <laughs> so I still hadn't noticed. He's like, it's on the wrong arm. I was like, Oh my goodness. <laughs> next thing on the, on the South African group, the next day, the video was posted and everyone was just laughing at me and the joke went on for about a month, I swear. Um, and you just brought it up yeah. again. Six years later. Six years <laughs> later. Oh, but it's, it's fun. I embarrassed myself and it's funny. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs>